Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So today I'm up here supporting the Oxfordshire County Council because uh, they're rolling out these chargers in the um, Oxfordshire car parks to allow people to charge their vehicle overnight. And here we have the man behind the chargers, Phil Shadbolt from Easy Charge. So, how did you uh, get involved with this project? Hi Matt. So we started this project about two years ago and we're working with local authority Oxfordshire County Council, we're working with a local software developer and we're working with the University of Oxford and together we've been working on this project now as I say about two years and we're finally now launching here at the cattle market in Sunny Vista. We've got these wonderful chargers, six of them, they're dual chargers, 22 kilowatts, so they can charge up your car uh, about 25 miles for an hour at 7 kilowatts if your um, car will charge at 7 kilowatts at 11 kilowatts you'll get about 35 miles in an hour are they all 22 then all 22 kilowatts they're all 22 kilowatt chargers right. yeah and they're dual headed so you can charge two vehicles two cars, at yeah. a time yeah the okay. whole principle behind these is to make it easy to use and attractive for people so we've got a nice uh, liquid crystal display on there that talks to you so you can see how to use the charger and how to engage with it and how to use it. We've got three methods of payment. You can mm. pay via contactless, you can pay via the app or you can pay via an RFID card. Right. And I was playing with the app. It's a, it's a web app, isn't it? It's not yes. an app as such. Yes. Um, yeah, I, it wasn't actually working. I was trying on a Chromebook and no, I right. couldn't <laughs> scroll down the first page on the Chromebook. Yeah. Next um, month we'll be coming out with a native app, so right. you'll be able to download it from the App Store. Okay. So hopefully that'll be a bit easier even still to use then. Yeah. So do you want to show us the charger? Can we plug the Golf in here? And yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we unplug the charger, plug it into the vehicle. Let's have a look at the screen up there. So it's detected the vehicle and we're going to pay with a RFID card, tap it, it's authorised and now it's charging, the lights are turned blue. And, uh, we're now That's nice and quick actually isn't it? Yes, the whole principle is to try and make it easy for everyone. So the idea of these is that local residents who can't charge at home can leave the car here overnight and charge typically at 7 kilowatt. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we did some analysis with University of Oxford mm -hmm. and uh, they validated that there's about 40% of households in Oxfordshire that just can't charge at home. They don't have access to home charging, don't have a garage or a driveway and so they have to use a car park like this yeah. to charge up. Right, okay. It's an interesting idea, isn't it? Because um, most chargers in car parks discourage you from staying leaving your car overnight it doesn't yeah. really work for those sort of residents yeah. so this is the first site uh, this is rolling out across Oxfordshire isn't it yeah so uh, this is the very first site the pilot site went live last week and what we're going to do now is going to go out to another 20 car parks throughout Oxfordshire mm -hmm. similar setup to this yeah. uh, and, and that will then be that will give 280 charging bays across Oxfordshire and then after that, the next plan is on to the next local authority and the next council to see if we can help them. And there's a lot of grant funding about at the moment to support the funding of the installation of the, of the units and the, the cost of the chargers. Right. So we can get 75% funding for the installation and the chargers at the moment. Okay. So if any local authorities are watching, they can contact, contact you. Yeah. So the unit there, it's not a charger I've seen before. Now this, this is a charger that we manufacture here in Vista from the ground up. So when we started uh, making chargers about five years ago, we started off by importing from Germany, one of the largest manufacturers in chargers. We used the components from there and we mm -hmm. built the charger around that. But we had so many problems with reliability and the units crashing and, and not working properly. We made the decision that we could do it better ourselves if we had control over the whole development process. Right. So this unit here is completely ground up developed. Um, it's been funded by a government grant. It's cost us a lot of money to develop okay. and it's a very, very intelligent unit. So looking at this unit, I quite like the way the connectors snap in. You've got a little push button there to hold that because you get public chargers. These fall out, they um, 
full on the floor and you'll often find that the plastic around the connector is all broken. So that's quite a nice little design. Is that your own design or did you buy these in no, ready-made? Buy, buy those in ready-made. Because I haven't seen them on others, which is quite nice. And the unit is quite a large box for two seven kilowatt chargers. Yeah, it's 22 kilowatt, dual Oh, 22. sorry, 22, so yeah. yeah. Um, but it, the reason it's large, it's got a lot of monitoring equipment in there. So there's actually yeah. two computers uh, that are check, constantly checking one another. Yeah. So it's got like a dual watchdog. So each computer is talking to the other computer to make sure it's doing its process correctly. And if there's anything at any time that doesn't look right, that computer will ask the other computer to restart. Okay. And the uh, internet connection for them? Yeah, so we've got modem built inside this and that will roam to whatever's the best um, signal yeah. and it will connect at the moment we're connected to O2 and then that communicates all of the data that's being used and all the payment processing is all communicated via the 4G network. Yeah. Okay. So I notice these are all type 2 only. We've actually got one charger in every car park. We'll be have sockets on it. For, so, the, for the old Type 1 car, yeah, the so leaves you, and things. You can bring yeah. your own cable and yeah. you can plug into a Type 1 on the yeah. socket version. So we can cover all the vehicles. Great, okay. So this setup is rolling out um, in other car parks around Oxfordshire and uh, hopefully other car parks all around the country. That's the plan. <laughs> Right, well I hope you found that interesting and please do share if you think someone else would find this video interesting and you can always contact Phil at Easy Charge. <laughs>